Today I'm going to talk about the current state of Outriders after patch 1.04 and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome back to another video. So today we are going to talk about the current state of Outriders. I have good news and bad news. So we have a lot to talk about. And if you guys want to see more Outriders content in the form of class builds, legendary farming, official and fan made lore, news, updates and more, be sure to subscribe down below and turn on notifications so you never miss out on any video. When I started writing this script, I had every intention to make it a rant and rant my life away. But like an older person or a baby, I took a nap and everything was better when I woke up. So what are we going to cover in this video? We will cover the inventory wipes, the appreciation package, the infinite sign-in screen, the patch release that was actually done today, what the devs had to say, mod fixing, and the player base. Now, I won't be covering the entire patch notes in this video because there is so many things that have been changed in this update, but I will go over the highlights and put the patch notes in the description box below if you guys would like to check those out. So let's get started. Here are the highlights of the patch notes. They fixed a number of crashes throughout the game. They fixed a number of issues, bugs, and crashes associated with multiplayer. They resolved an issue that could cause players to get stuck in the sign-in screen. And then lots of uh, resolutions for gear, mods, skills, quest, leveling, and lighting bugs. And then the last highlight was lots more fixes, improvements, and optimizations. Now, due to the inventory wipes, it is a given and it is known that the player base has heavily declined from launch day to the day that the inventory wipes actually started to occur and then slowly decline thereafter. The players who were affected by the inventory wipes decided to either make another character or refuse to play the game altogether until the issue was fixed and corrected. Well, earlier today, there was a very substantial patch that was released to the game, and that was version 1.04. Unfortunately, we still don't have our characters back, and we still don't have no compensation for the inventory being deleted. For those who don't know or haven't been affected by the inventory wipes, good on you. Keep doing what you're doing. My main character that I was playing with since the demo was a trickster and was one of the ones that was affected by the inventory wipes. Everything is gone. When I log on to that character, I have about three seconds before I get an error. My trickster literally looks like he just came out of cryo, and then after the three seconds of being in the game, I get the error and get kicked back out to the lobby. Because of this, I made another character with a different class, and I wanted to try out the DPS build for them. And so far, I like it. Now, there are tons of issues going on or have been going on inside of Outriders. And here are a few tweets that everyone was saying about the issues they were having as of yesterday. Quote, very like this game, but this is going to turn into another Anthem or Avengers. If you don't hurry up to fix the game, please spend money to get actual server. Thank you. Then this guy said, y'all nerf the loot drops it's very obvious, ran six gold tier 15 expeditions and got one bad rolled pair of legendary gauntlets. Not worth my time at this rate. Please revert as soon as possible. Anything about the secret nerf on legendary drop rates on expedition you did three, four days ago. You should change the numbers. It's not 25% on T15s. It's 5% now or lower. 20 runs on T14 and just got one legendary. Then this person said, I'm already losing interest in returning to be honest. And that is truly a shame. My character has been locked for two weeks. I shouldn't have to start another character just to play. What about PC stuttering? I have tried everything from Reddit and still have massive stuttering. Ryzen 9 5900X RTX 3080, 32 gigs at 3600 MHz RAM, game on SSD. Last patch did not help at all. Also, what about the bug that randomly locks game to 60 FPS, mainly after cutscenes? Then, this guy had to say, 
This is so pathetic that you're still on this. Servers for co-op are so bad on Xbox. LOL, can't believe it. And that is just a few things that people were having for issues. Now, the devs, aka People Can't Fly, promised God rolls for all of those people who actually were affected by the wipes of the gear that they hadn't lost. Restoration of your character that got the error message that I got when logging in, and we were also promised an appreciation package which contained level appropriate legendary gear, and there was no specific details on the legendary gear as to what legendary gear or how many, as well as level appropriate titanium, and there's technically no chart that says how much level specific titanium we actually get. This is all great and all, but when is it happening? When PCF? When? So far we had received two patches from you guys in the last week and a half and neither of them fixed the character issue or the inventory issue. What frustrates the community and myself the most about the current situation is that this is what the devs had to say. Quote, we just released a significant patch for Outriders. More on that further below. As you will know, we've been spending a lot of time on our character and inventory restoration process. It has been hard to provide an exact date on its go live date so far, mainly because it has hovered on the very threshold of releasing for some time. But a small number of edge cases have forced us to reiterate and retest the process several times over. The greatest difficulty we're facing in particular relates to giving characters the correct item levels as item levels are calculated using three different variables. Character level, highest unlocked world tier level, and highest completed challenge tier. The complexity of these three variables together on individual affected characters is taking time for us to get right. Our tests indicate that restoring higher level gear than they should have leads to further character corruption, so we are not able to issue a blanket one size fits all solution here. As our restoration tests have progressed, our latest patch was cleared for release. While we had hoped to run the restoration process before releasing the patch, this unfortunately is not possible. So. We have made the decision to release the patch today so that players can benefit from its fixes while we continue to iterate and work on the restoration process. We will update you as soon as we have more news on the progress of the restoration and the community appreciation package that will follow it." End quote. Okay, so let me go ahead and give a clear fix to this very issue. Stop worrying about character level. Stop worrying about world tier and stop worrying about challenge tier levels. All you have to do is give everyone who lost their inventory level 10 gear that will be god rolls when completely leveled up and put everything in the stash. That way we could just go to the inbox and take it out. This makes it so you don't have to worry about giving everyone high level gear and then have it corrupt later on. This also allows the player base to still grind to be able to put on the gear that they want to use. There is your blanket one size fits all solution. Hearing quote, we will update you as soon as we have further news, more news, etc. news, end quote, is really bullshit. What the devs need to understand is that with each passing day, with each patch that this issue isn't fixed, more and more of the player base is leaving. And eventually, if nothing is fixed and in our hands, there won't be a player base. You're literally starting to look like the division and even worse, Anthem. The sad thing is that People Can Fly knows this and they can actually see the numbers of the player base declining. Now with the current patch of version 1.04, the infinite sign-in screen, mods, and a lot more seem to have been fixed for everyone except for Xbox players. After the patch went live, it seems like there are a lot of players on Xbox still having issues in the game and I feel for them. I'm sorry. Not to mention, 10 minutes into the patch going live, the devs had to shut it down because there was a bug that had a level of 20 to 30,000. Now, I have said this time and time again, ever since the demo. 
Outriders has so much potential as an IP. You give us an amazing game that is not a games as a service title, but even then, you can still expand on it and make it grow. I love playing Outriders, and even with all of the issues, I still continue to enjoy it. Unfortunately, it happens to be on another character. I still plan on leveling one character for each class and try multiple different types of builds. PCF really needs to step up their game and give us the characters back. PCF needs to hype up their game and give us our inventory back. It's been way too long for this to be an issue and the game has only been out a month. A couple of days ago, I had actually made a video about changes that should come to Outriders. Now, even though Outriders is not a games as a service title, updates to the game can still be made. For example, we wanted a mass delete option, which wasn't originally in the game and the devs added it. As Shuri said, quote, just because something works, doesn't mean that it can't be improved." End quote. Well, she clearly wasn't talking about Outriders because this game is broken, <laughs> and in so many ways. But in the end, I still have a soft spot for it. And if you agree with anything that I am saying, or some of what I have said, please leave a like in the video and comment down below on what your experience with the game has been like. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you need a place to play Outriders, come join the Everything Outriders Discord. Every platform is welcome. You can make new friends, get help with expeditions like Challenge Tier 14, 15, and Eye of the Storm, get detailed information such as data mines, patch notes, lore, and a look at all of the legendaries in the game as well. We are well over 230 members, and it's growing every day. So, come and join us. A link to the Discord will be in the description box below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Hey, hey you, watch these videos too. I know you like them. Go, 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 go.